Racer. So today I got a, a really good story time. It's actually about me. This is a story about my life. So if you guys know, uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that have been doing this thing called Draw My Life where they draw about their life and talking about it. I want to do it, but it's kind of a little difficult. So I decided, you know what, I'm just being going to talk about my whole life. It's going to be a story where I, how I came from before all the way till now, right right now where I'm recording. I was telling Dad about maybe I should explain my life and she should go for it. But, okay, so so my life kind of started as usual. Um, uh, I was born in a hospital and, uh, no, born, I, I was born in a hospital and... Before I moved into, me and my family moved into the house that I'm standing in. Uh, back then, we would used to live in a trailer. Like, was, we were living in a trailer in a trailer park. And, um, I was just doing normal kid stuff. Just playing with toys, being a little rascal that I am. And then, um, I didn't know what happened, but we... Uh, got kicked out out of the trailer and we moved into my grandparents place aka the house that I'm standing in right now um so okay so I was moving into this house and met my grandparents so we all basically just moved in and I took the downstairs room with my brother we got, we both have like a bunk bed and there's like stories on that where Basically, my also my brother accidentally knocked me out. <laughs> I gotta tell a story on that soon. I gotta tell a story about that, but yeah, basically my brother knocked me out. Um, there's a lot of stupid things, but most importantly, um, it's uh, also the point of my entire school life. So I basically started off, and my mom enrolled me into a daycare. I was shy as hell. I didn't talk to anyone. I wasn't making any friends. I was just literally throughout my, I think my daycare days, I just was sitting in a corner just reading a book. Just mind my own business because I didn't talk to anyone at all. So, um, yeah, basically I went for all my daycare and I went to this other school that I can't remember the name, name, but I was at this other school with other kids and stuff. And then I roll to elementary. That's where stuff goes on. <laughs> so, okay, before I even started, I think it was in my younger, it was the early start of elementary. I was using taking pills. Yep, I didn't talk about this, but I used to be on pills every fucking day. day every morning, every noon, every night, every day. And, um... I, I had to take pills because, um, due to my autistic and, you know, but, yeah, I was taking pills and it just was not right for me. Like, I was, I was getting mad, I was in trouble, I was a rebunctious, demonic child, and I would just get angry and would just not focus on school. So, my parents to decide me to take me off the pills. And I was so, I was so much better off without the pills. If I was still taking pills to this day, I, I'm probably not going to be who I am. am because taking me off the pills pretty much changed me. I was then, but I also only do well in elementary school. I actually got a, a medal from that. Uh, hang on. I got a medal from my school. This medal, that was from uh, elementary school. I'm not going to say the name because privacy. And then I went into middle school. It was the, I think it was the second start of middle school. And it was a big school. Shy as hell. I got a bunch of stories that I talked about on this channel about it. Like, ooh, we. I got into fight, fights. I got suspended. Uh, but that's also the day where I met the boys. Yep, Mel Rhino and Rusty Refuse. Middle school was the day that I met them. And we pretty much became bros. And I was doing well. I was doing good, but not good. It was kind of like, um, 
it was a thing. Like, I pretty much was getting a child, and oh my god, there were there was some bullshit going on there. Like, I got treated unfairly. My dad got my teachers. Teachers were getting fired left and right because my dad. I, that they were mad at me. The, 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 the school was just, whew. That school was just, ugh, it was a rough point for me. And then I went into high school. I actually went to two different high schools. The one started, I went from middle school. It was from middle school to the school. So I went into high school. I just, I saw my house then, no, because I think I was doing well, but not well at school, at middle school. But I managed to get, went into high school. Uh, the first day, fucking crowded. There were so many students, and I, I, like I was getting lost. I didn't know where my classes are. I actually got walked into my mistaken class because the class I was due was right next to it. Right? But uh, yeah, and it was also in it was also in 2018, I think. 2018, I think I was in high school, starting high school. And that's where I decided to stall, saw a bun, saw opportunity in YouTube. Back then in 2018, I didn't know pretty much anyone. Thing, I it was like like a popular, lot of popular YouTubes. Markiplier, Jack said the guy, PewDiePie, Doc Gov, you just see gamer, it but Ryan, all those good YouTubers. And um, it was also 2015. I recently discovered YouTube. My bad. 2015, I saw it, but I didn't know anything about 2015. And 2018, I got my YouTube account, basically, uh, channel name. And I tried to do a video on 2018, but it was shit because um, it didn't turn out well. Because I was basically doing a house tour, and I was sitting in the chair. Sitting in a chair while watching YouTube while doing it. I was like, nah, I'm going to scrap that. So I went in next year. Till, and it was 2019, that's when I started doing it. So yeah, basically, I think 2019 was like the first time I started doing YouTube, and who knows, I may, like, I, I don't know, I might just do a reaction on my first video. But yeah, uh, 2019, that's when I started doing YouTube, I was still doing school, um, I actually had to finish school before doing this, because if I was doing YouTube and school at the same time, it's going to be difficult, because, I don't know, but um, yeah. So... Uh, there was like a lot of things going on, for example, the rock incident, uh, me uh, witnessing a fight, and um, I also got transferred to another school, a school that is smaller, and that was the decision of my life that changed me throughout my high school. Yes, I did well there, my grades were order, I made a lot of new friends, made some enemies because I got into fights in school like twice. Um, yeah, went on some field trips, doing my work, uh, now, there are some times where I just, fall, I would fall asleep in class, I would literally fall asleep in the corner of my school, and it, one time I just fell asleep for all days in school. Oh my god, that was just, but yeah, school, high school was, it was different, kind of, I don't know. But I managed to get through it, and I did very well. I'm um, also was doing some YouTube, and yeah. After that, I graduated high school. Yep. I get, I think you guys heard about this, but I did graduate high school, and that was just the biggest turn point for me. Like graduating high school was the biggest. Like I, I can decide my own hours now. I can decide what time I have to sleep in. Sometimes I get to stay up all fucking night, night and sleep all day, uh, pulling out all nighters. But yeah, also there was a lot of changes, some really bad things. Dad been getting seizures. I told stories about that. Grandpa had to go to the hospital for it. He had he has back surgery done. He has both hip replacements. Uh, have, he's in the other room right now. He just got a hip replacement, so I have to take care of him. Also, in the changes, um, me getting in this sweet room, this, uh, got a new chair, I guess you guys didn't see. Also, yeah, um, my brother gave me this chair, because he got a new one, uh, so yeah, the black one you always see in the story times, that's gone, 
it's out in the backyard right now, but you guys see this new blue one. But, um, yeah. But also now, um, big surprise, uh, next month, my birthday's coming up. I am almost 20. Yep, I'm gonna be in my 20s. From start, okay, from 2019, four years ago, to be besides, because 2019 was the year I think I started doing YouTube, to right now, you can pretty much see how much I change. Not much for the channel, like all the smashing stuff, the stories, the vlogs, the gameplay I've been even doing. And, and me, me in general, like I'm almost 20, I got like a beard, my hair is getting long. I'll probably sooner or later I might put this up on a ponytail, but I'm not sure. But yeah, it, it just pretty much shows you how much I, I changed. So yeah, also, um, speaking of gameplays, uh, you gotta check, check out Five Nights at Freddy's. I, please, go check out that, out, that game, that series. It's in, it's in the playlist called FNAF. Um, I play it from night one all the way to six. Please check it out. It's awesome. I love that game. I've been a fan since 2015 when Mark Clark was playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. That was the year when I started getting getting no, more no into more about FNAF. Till now. Basically we're getting a new game next month. Yay! But yeah, I basically want to make this video basically explain my life, how I came to be of my life all the way up till now. And yeah, um hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you do. Go subscribe to me. Let's get to 500 subscribers. As usual, if you want more content, check out the boys' channels, Mel Rhino, Russell Reviews, and Spartans Libby, all those free channels in the link in the description. Check out FNAF 2. Uh not check out FNAF. Um there's a game there's gameplays. Uh, there is a playlist though. Just go to my channel. Also, um, I was on break too. I forgot about that. Check out. Oh, uh, I was been on break too because I also posted a couple stuff on Instagram. Go follow me on there. It is is my Instagram name is Ray Mason, all ca uh, lowercase. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you all next time. I'm Ray Mason. Sign out. Peace, dragons.